Asis Parashar. Today's topic is IP subnetting. So this is CCNA day 3 video. So in this lecture we will cover CCNA subnetting. So we, al we already created one trick for this uh, CCNA subnetting. So we, we will follow this trick for this video. So let's start the topic. We already consider one IP address like uh, 192.168.10.1 slash 24 and uh, we have to find these parameters for this IP these parameters like uh, end network ID second is broadcast ID first third one is first valid last valid number of host and subnet mask so it's up to me how how many subnets I want to create if I want to create nine subnet for this IP so how we can follow this table so firstly start from the table first portion is number of valid subnets so number of valid subnets I will show you how I created this table and how I am following this table so first is number of valid subnets so for understanding number of valid subnets I have this is the formula for number of valid subnet the formula for number of valid subnet is 2 to the power n minus 2 I am following the uh, decimal number 1 2 3 4 and so on till 8 so first number is 1 2 to the power 1 minus 2 equal to not applicable second is 2 to the power 2 minus 2 equal to 2 2 to the power 3 minus 2 equal to 6 2 to the power 4 minus 2 equal to 14 and so on same I am using this in this table till 0 to 1 to 7 after that we have bit place bit place means number number of n value what I follow here firstly I follow 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 till 7 after that target number target number is a sequence number of nids like uh, if i uh, the nid is 192.168 10.2 so next nid will be 10.4 so this is the difference between the nids sequence after that the subnet mask subnet mask if um, i mention one uh, I have mentioned 128, 192, 224, 240, 250. It's totally based on the table. Like, as we know that each octet contain 8 bits. If I enable one network width of this octet, then number equal to 128. If I enable 2 bit for this octet, the number will be 192 if I enable 3 bit for this octet the number will be 224 if I enable 4 bit the number will be 240 so this is I am placing here 224 192 if I enable 7 then this so this is the table I created and after that I have to follow this table for this solution so as we know that this is class C IP address so what is the default mask the default mask for this class is 255.255.255.0 after that and we are finding the 9 subnet for this IP address so for 9 subnet I have to choose a number which is equal to or more than in this table so in this table we have 14 which is equal not equal to but more than 9 we can't choose 6 we can't choose 2 this is the first number which is more than 9 so we are choosing 14 here so we are choosing 14 after choosing 14 we have to check the bit place above 14 
how we get 14 so we are getting 14 after putting n equal to n equal to 4 means 2 to the power 4 minus 2 equal to 14 so n equal to 4 so this is the bit place after that we this is the bit place we find we found uh, 4 after that we move to the next step now the thing is we have to check the sequence what is the sequence here so above we can check in target number is 16 the sequence is 16 and after that of in above we have 240 so four terms we got 240 16 4 14 what is the importance for that importance is if we calculated that so we got the if we got these four terms then everything is calculated so for network id we will start from the zero so first network id is i am opening the notepad here the first network id is 192.168.10.0 okay after that second network id as i told earlier so second network id will be 16 number more than so 0 plus 16 equal to 16 so this, this is the second third one is 192.168.10.32 fourth one is 192.168.10.48 and so on we will find till 14 9 9 subnet so this is one subnet this is 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we will find till 9 subnets after that as so we find 16 32 48 18 19 so we, we will count till 14 subnets or 9 subnet as per the requirement and we will count till 256 we can't count more than 256 so 256 our limit we can count from 0 to 256 after that what is the table created so first is 0 is invalid if if you put the 0 in your IP address 192.168.10.0 this is invalid after that I firstly we count 14 number of subnets so this is the valid subnets here okay. 17 to 30 we can use for, as a IP after that 31 is our broadcast 32 will be our next network id 32 3 to 46 it means 14 ip we can use 47 will be our next broadcast so we will count these till 256 and if we find a 9 then we can count the 9 after that we can notice that 14 subnet we created till 16 to 224 after that what is the subnet mask for that then in above you can so above 16 you can check number is above 16 the number is 240 and we know that the in class C, our third uh, with third oct three octet are reserved, and fourth octet we can change in class C. So the our updated subnet mask will be two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two forty. So our subnet mask will be two forty.